Hey everybody, my name is Stone from Dual GM, and today I'm gonna go over how to create wall jumps in UE4. So I have those two examples here. And yeah, with this said, let's get right into it. So the first thing I wanna do is I wanna make a custom trace channel. So we go into our prop, uh, object properties and op project settings. Thank you, Don. Um, and we need to go under collision and <clears throat> that wasn't there. No. Okay. Let's make a new set it to ignore and call it wall jump. There we go. And now I have to actually check if, <laughs> if that already saved a few things. No, it didn't. Good. So what we want to do now is we want to get our jump. Also, I won't directly modify a lot of the in um, character movement because that would take up too much time. But if you want to do something like that, you you will generally ha uh, have changed your character movement already. So it shouldn't be really a problem. I hope not. Um, if it is, let me know. Then I'm maybe going to do a follow up. But what we're going to do is get our character movement and check if we're falling. And if we're not falling, we want to just initiate a normal jump. After this, we want to do a line trace by channel, which we're going to use to get our impact location. So what we're going to do is get a wall jump, like get the wall jump trace channel. And with that, we want to do something else. We want to get an arrow and attach it to the static mesh. And let me actually show you why we do this. So if we don't hide it in game, we see that it rotates with the character and we're going to need this to get our location to have the proper bounce. And after I'm done with this, I can hide it again because we don't really need to see it. And let's just make it another color like a blue. After we were done with this, we're going to get that arrow and get world location. And then we get the forward vector. With those two, we're going to plug the forward vector in here. And we take this plus vector and then we plug it into the end. After this, we get our world location minus. Uh, let me actually uh, change that and we plug the other one into our impact location. Yes. Okay. So what we're doing here is we get a we get our word location and we get our forward vector and I forgot to do something actually. We need to we need a multiplier because <laughs> with one as our forward vector we won't get far. So we take vector times float not vector. And the thing we're going to do here is we're going to actually initiate a trace. So please let me type in 100. So we get our world location, which is our star trace. Then we get our forward vector, which is our forward vector. In this case, it's just this location from the arrow. And we multiply that by 100. The value we get out of here is um, a one base value. I think it's called one base. It's just like, a, it's either one or zero in a vector. So we can't really do anything with one or zero. So we multiply it by a hundred and plus it from the location. After this, we want to check if we actually hit something. So we're going to do a branch. And then we're gonna break our hit result. What we wanna get is our impact normal because we somehow have to calculate uh, the location 
So we get mirror ve vector by normal. And in normal, we put our impact normal. So what we should out, uh, get out is the rotated vector. So let's say if we have a wall here, let's make it, <laughs> let's try to visualize this. So if we have a wall here and we would come in like this and we would hit right here, it the, the mirror would give us this vector out. So we have a V shape and it, the flatter we go, the flatter it, I think you get what I mean. Anyway, after this, we want to normalize this value. So we have 0, 1. Wait, is that what the normal? Yeah, it's a normal version. It's a 0 0.1. Then what we want to do is multiply the vector by a float. So we have our force in the direction so we have our directional force that's the word so let's say we want a thousand so if we want to i'm going to show it in a second um let's also set velocity okay and the other thing we want to do is uh add oh we just want to add it vector by vector and the second uh the, not the second value the third Give me a second. Am I being? Oh yeah, whoops. Um, in the original project, I did actually did something wrong. And we want to set our, the value Y, which we want to go up right here. So you can change it to whatever. I'm going to change it to 500 because 500 is not too much and it pretty much gets the point across. So one thing we would have an issue with Actually, let me change. Uh, let me show you just in a second. So, if we go in game and actually get those four walls and change down here from my where's the collision? Do, 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 do. Then we want to switch over to custom. And what we want to do on wall jump is we want to say block. And let's just save this and play. So if we jump over, we're going to get pushed back. Oops. The thing is right now, we don't get rotated in the wrong, uh, in the right direction, which we want happening. Because we want something good looking. Also, you can change all those values. If it's too strong, you can just... For example, just turn it down to 500 or anything. It's it's a lot of uh, testing and figuring stuff out. But yeah, that's a basic jump. So we get the proper shape direction, not shape. And what we want to want to do from here on out is we want to get this velocity and we want to make rotation from x y i think x only also works but let's go with x y then we want to break it then we want to make a rotator rotator and we're gonna just connect the yaw yaw okay then we set the actor rotation set actor rotation there we go so what we did here is we got our velocity, we made a rotator from X and Y. So we got the X value and the Y value wait, of the velocity and we got a rotator from that. So where is that velocity heading? Then we broke the rotator and just got our yaw because if we connect up the other things, let, let me just really quickly show you what's happening. So it's easier to understand. So if we now do this, this stuff happens. We don't want this to happen. So let's not hook them up. But what we're gonna do is just get a yaw. Our yaw is the axis here. This is our yaw axis. And we only want this so we don't just 
do weird things. But it would work right now. So if we jump and do not press any button, we rotate into the right direction. And everything should work perfectly. But one thing that doesn't work is if you, for, for example, press forward and then press it, it, uh, it wants to go back into that direction. So we don't want that to happen. So what we're going to do now is go to our event graph and get our event tick. I really dislike using tick, but I think it's the one thing to like it's a it's a proper thing to use in this situation. So we get our character movement and we get is falling. Then we go into a branch and in that branch we're gonna set orient uh, rotation to movement and we want to set it and on false we want to set it to true and on true we want to set it to false the last thing i want to do is to make it look a bit more than i apologize for the quick interruption but what i want to do is just lengthen the camera arm so we have more of a distance view of what is going on so if we jump here, uh, actually, let's raise the jump value. So let's set it to a thousand. And let's copy one of those walls and size it down. Just like this. And if we go now in here and have start jumping, we can wall jump up here. If my distance wouldn't be so high, it would work better. But come on, you can do it. There we go. And yeah. And if we, for example, have something like we want to jump across somewhere in the sense of here, we can just copy paste this, place it over here, and we can just. Oh. That's not something that should be happening. Why well, is it right? Uh, give me one second. Oh yeah, it is. It's kinda. Um, I maybe have to have a look again in the second edit. It doesn't really feel wrong. That does, that does. So I have to, give me a second. I'm gonna look at the project real quickly. I'm back now and I kind of found my issue. So my world scale was a bit, uh, my gravity scale was just at one, so it looked off. But if we see right here, if we actually go here, the vector is correct. If I would also not be bad right now at jumping, it would work perfectly. So we can easily just jump from here to here. It's it's still a bit hard, but it's also a weird angle I place it at. But yeah, um, if you, for example, add a bit more strength to your jump, it would be easier and you should definitely tweak your word gravity to what you want and you uh, set up generally proper uh, everything properly so you're happy with it but this is pretty much the wall jump system it's not really complex or anything i try to keep it as simple as possible and i hope i can satisfy everybody with the solution if not if you want to see a follow-up on specific things or if you want to see me generally do something please let me know below so I can actually start working on some new fancy blueprints. And to actually show you what I changed is, I added a second line trace, but that is not important. So we can also get rid of this. So what, what I changed is just, I raised this up to 750 
I set this to 200 and what I did in my character, I set the gravity scale to 2. Move to said, um, I wish you all a nice day. If you have questions, let me know in the comments down below. And goodbye.